Labels have long been used as an industry standard for product identification. In marketing, labels are used to make a product known and most especially encourage potential buyers to purchase a product. Corel Draws Versatility offers its users the flexibility to create their own labels for every practical use. In this tutorial, you will learn how to apply coloring techniques using the interactive fill tool, create a soft bevel effect using the drop shadow tool, and generate a sensational text design using an open type stylistic set. To begin, create a document that measures 5 inches wide and 4 inches tall. Next, set the primary color mode to RGB and leave the rendering resolution to 300 dpi. Click on OK. For this tutorial, you will create a wine label using a hummingbird vector image. This image can be downloaded from the link that is provided in the written tutorial for this project. In the Import EPS dialog box, import vector file as curves and click on OK. Once the vector file is imported, press P on your keyboard to position it at the center of the page. Ungroup the image, then simply delete the flower. Ensure that lock ratio is selected on interactive property bar and resize the hummingbird image to 3.5 inches in height. Select the interactive fill tool and drag it horizontally from the tips of the beak to the tips of the wing. Drag three color swatches from the color palette onto the object's interactive vector handles. For this project, we will be using purple, red, and orange. Select the interactive drop shadow tool and create a drop shadow. Once the shadow has been created, input the following settings on the interactive property bar. X and Y drop shadow offset must be set to 0, 0. Drop shadow opacity to 95. Shadow feathering to 5. Feathering direction to inside. Transparency operation to normal. And shadow color to white. Tap the space bar to return to the pick tool. Then press Ctrl plus K to break the drop shadow group apart. Click on an empty area within the document to deselect all objects, or you can also press Escape key on your keyboard. In the Object Manager, click and move the rectangle just above the curve, or click on the white area within the body to select the lens and then use Ctrl plus Home key to bring it to the front. This will create a soft bevel effect on the hummingbird. Double-click the Pick tool to select both objects, and then group them together by pressing Ctrl plus G. With this object still selected, in the Interactive Property bar, set Object Position to X equals 3.45 inches, Y equals to 2.09 inches, and then press Enter. Press the plus key on your numeric keypad to duplicate the selected object. If you are using a laptop, you would need to use Ctrl plus D to duplicate the object. With the duplicate object still selected, set the object position to X equals 1.55 inches, Y equals 2.09 inches, and then press Enter. On the Interactive Property Toolbar, click on Mirror Horizontally icon. Double-click the Pick tool to select both objects and then group them together by pressing Ctrl plus G. Double-click on the Rectangle tool and add a frame to the page. Give this frame a black fill and then change the outline to 8 points and the color to light purple. Click on the text tool, then click off the page and type Careway Wines. For this tutorial, use the Gabriola font, then set the size to 28 points. Change the color to white and move it onto the page.
highlight the text, click on the indicator arrow below the text and select Stylistic Set 7. This option is only available in CorelDRAW X6. For other versions, just leave the text as is. With the text still selected, right-click on the white color swatch to apply a white outline. Position the text above the heads of the hummingbirds and between the wings. Click on the text tool and type Celebration Chardonnay off the page. Use the Gabriola font and set the size to 28 points. Change the color to white and move it onto the label. Place the text just below the beaks of the birds so that it is between them. Next, create a paragraph text frame and type a short description. Here, we will simply paste a block of text that I have on the Windows clipboard. Click on the Pick tool and on the Interactive Property toolbar, use the Gabriola font Set the font size to 10 points and the horizontal alignment to center. In the object properties under paragraph, change the value of the before paragraph spacing to 60% and then set the color to white. Place the paragraph below the text Celebration Chardonnay. With the paragraph text still selected, Hold down the Shift key and select the other pieces of text, and then lastly select the grouped hummingbirds. Next, press the letter C on the keyboard. This will center all the text on the label in relation to the last object selected. Click on the text tool, type 750MO, set the font to Gabriola, font size to 12 points, and set the color to white. Using the Pick tool, place the text on the bottom left corner of the label. Press the plus key on your numeric keypad to duplicate the selected text. Drag the duplicated text to the bottom right corner of the label, double-click on it, highlight the text, and type 12.5%. Save your project as CDR file and now you are ready to export it into a format that you would like to use. You can print directly to labeled stock using the imposition feature within the print preview window. If sending to an output center such as a Kinko's or UPS store, we recommend that you use TF format when exporting your project. For web sharing, you may want to export your project in JPEG format. And there you have it. You have now created a wine label using CorelDRAW. Thank you for watching. This tutorial, as well as many others, can be found in the book Bring It Home with CorelDRAW, a guide to in-house graphic design. Available through CorelSales or Amazon.com.